What do you think that is Absolutely. telling us about the real rate of growth? Is it closer to 4 or 5%? I, I, I suspect it is. Um, we'll, we'll never really find out. And I think there's also, you know, when you factor that in, when you look at the debt to GDP uh, ratios, then everybody says, well, we think the debts are understated. Yeah, we do. But we also think the GDP is overstated. So, you know, you, you adjust both sides and it actually makes the, the debt ratios look, you know, really worrying. OK, the real uh, drag and that's on the... a major uh... drag on growth. Sure, and the other drag on growth is the uh, debt profile, right? And to their credit, uh, exactly. no pun intended, Beijing is trying to de-lever, uh, especially the state-owned enterprises. How do you think they're doing on that front? And do you think Beijing has really got a handle on the debt? I think they know what the problem is. I, I think it's, a, it's an insolvable problem. I, I think that's really the issue, because um, whatever they do to, to try and fix that debt problem at the moment is, is obviously going to be very negative for growth. It's going to involve you know, taking, um, taking some circulating funds out of the economy to deal with the debt problem. And on top of that, you know, they're facing the same potential headwind that everybody faces. The reason, the reason China hasn't been too vocal about um, the, the fact that the, the, the country that said China isn't a currency manipulator, i.e. the states, actually is a manipulator itself. The reason why China's been relatively subdued on that is because it, it's been very good for global liquidity that the dollar's been weak for the last year. A stronger dollar, and this is widely misunderstood, a stronger dollar is actually probably the biggest threat for the Chinese economy.